In today's video, I have something really exciting for you guys. I'm going to share with you how to create this navigation mobile bar with this simple micro animation with Elementor Pro. Right off the bat, it's sticky, fully responsive, and it's created only with Elementor alongside CSS, no JavaScript. By the end of the video, you will be able to entirely replicate this in your own WordPress website. I also will provide you with the CSS snippet. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. If you are new to the channel, know I make video tutorials about WordPress websites, helping you to become more productive. Kindly consider subscribing so you don't miss out any upcoming videos. So for this video, you will need to have an Elementor License Pro key, since I will be using the custom CSS bar. Let's up into my demo website. First things first, we need to create an Elementor footer template. So head over to Elementor templates and select the Add New button. Give it a meaningful name. Create templates. Close this down since we make this from scratch. I use the new Elementor containers features. It's fully responsive and easy to, to deal with. If you want to follow along, just make sure you have already activated the options under the Elementor settings. We begin by dragging and dropping an horizontal container to Elementor Canvas. The height is set to 100 pixels and the width 875. Justify content and align items to center so the items become perfectly aligned. Next, I need to add, I will use the icon box widget. So click on the plus icon at the top, top left side and search for icon box. Drag it to the canvas. We don't need the description, so highlight it and then delete it. I need to assign a background color to my container, so select the container, the style tab, background, and that's it. Just a matter of three clicks. Now selecting the icon, I want to change to home. Select it, insert it. I'm going to change to black color, but you can change to whatever color you desire. We don't need the spacing, just remove it. The title is Home. I also need to set the custom width for this icon widget. Since I will be using four menu items, I need to break down to 20% width. So select the icon box under advanced, custom, percentage, 20. To add my other three icon items, we just need to duplicate this. So duplicate one, three, and four. Perfect. And now I quickly adjust the styles and the labels, so you don't need to see this, just I come back in a second. Okay, I also want to remove the space between the items, so select the container and remove the gap between elements just by dragging the slider or input to zero, much better. Since the container direction is set to horizontal, it looks this way. However, you could change to a vertical direction so you get this layout. Let me show you. Finally, let's make an adjustment to its position. I want to place the position of this element to the bottom of the page. So, move to the advanced tab. Under position, select absolute. And you are done. An absolute position means it's position relative to the nearest position ancestor and it's great to overlap other elements. I also want to assign a 99z index value 
to the container, the CSS property specifies the stack order of an element with inside the page. An element with greater stack order is always in front of another element with a lower stack order. And now you can offset by vertical or horizontal. Let's drag to bottom, just like that. Or you can set to fixed. But for a video purpose, I position what we are designing at the middle of the screen so you guys can easily see it pretty good so far next let's spice it up by having a micro animation the goal i have in mind is to display only the icons and when hovering on top the label shows up in a subtle and smooth animation that's my goal let's proceed now I will provide you in the, the CSS snippet in the description box and all you have to do is to copy and paste this code snippet into your custom element or CSS blocks. No need to have extra X CSS classes or IDs. It's made up of only four CSS paragraphs. Let's quickly break down the CSS implementation interaction. It consists of two parts, the stacking and the transition property. With it, you can change property values smoothly over a specific duration. In my case, it's defined to out milliseconds. I've also defined the speed curve of the transition effect to easy out, where the transition is with a slow end. I want to keep things as as easy to understand as possible is what we got so far it's subtle it's smoothly if you want you can add a box shadow effect to the container let's do this go to the style tab border box shadow you could also add some padding to the container so I go with 25 right and left and 30 pixels to top and bottom and publish and then we check for mobiles let's simulating for mobile devices so click on this mobile portrait you can drag the handles to resize the viewport to whatever dimensions you need it looks pretty good to me if for some reason you are viewing this last icon a little bit out of the line just adjust the padding to go to advanced tab under the padding select the mobile portrait and then you can adjust here the padding to me it, it looks pretty good I've only played around with it a little bit, but it seems pretty damn nice. So, I really hope you have learned something new today. If so, please like the video or subscribe to the channel to support me. It really helps me to reach a broader audience. It's one click action button. If you need more tutorials like this, I suggest you watch the video you are viewing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Natalie, see you next time!